Hello and welcome. In my previous two videos I demonstrated how to find areas below curves using the fundamental theorem of calculus. Uh, more specifically it is the area beneath a function um, or between the function and the horizontal axis. But what if we wanted to find the area in between two functions? So if I draw a set of axes my vertical y-axis and my horizontal x-axis and let's say I have a function that looks like this and I'll call this function f of x and I had a function below it that looks something like this and I'm going to call that g of x um, what if I wanted to find the area between f of x and g of x, say between x is equal to a and x is equal to b. So I wanted to find this area here. Well from the fundamental theorem of calculus I know that the area underneath f of x which I'm going to mark out in red is going to be simply so this area that I'll hatch in red is going to be equal to the integral from a to b of f of x. And also from the fundamental theorem of calculus, the area underneath g of x, which I'll mark out in magenta, So this hatched area is equal to the integral from a to b of g of x. So it then follows that the area in between is simply going to be equal to so the area in between is simply going to be equal to uh, the first integral, the integral of uh, f of x minus the integral of g of x and I don't have to write these two integrals separately um, so I don't have to perform the integral twice, I can actually combine these integrals so I can write, uh, I can write this as the integral from a to b of f of x minus g of x with respect to x. And this is precisely how I would find the area between two curves. So let's go ahead and do an example. Here I have two parabolas, one positive and one negative. The negative one I'm going to call f of x and its equation is 5x minus x squared and the positive parabola I am going to name g of x and its equation is x squared minus 3x. And these parabolas intersect each other at the origin and at a point A. And there are two parts of this question. First, I want to find the x coordinate of point A and the second part I want to find the area that uh, I'm about to shade so this area here between 0 and well between x equals 0 and the x coordinate of point A alright for the first part of the problem where the curves intersect each other is where they equal each other. So to find point A I am going to have to set g of x is equal to f of x and solve for x. So if g of x is equal to f of x then x squared minus 3x is equal to 5x minus x squared 
and if I take everything to one side, so let's say that I take all of the um, terms from the right hand side over, the, over to the left hand side, I should end up with an equation that looks uh, like this. So taking x, sorry, adding x squared to both sides will give me 2x on the left hand side, 2x squared on the left hand side. And subtracting 5x from both sides is going to leave me with negative 8x on the left hand side and I'll end up with 0 on the right hand side. And on the left hand side I can factor out a 2x which will leave me with inside parentheses x minus 4 is equal to 0. And now if I divide both sides of the equation by 2 I see that the 2 on the left hand side will cancel out and I'm going to be left with x outside of x minus 4. So that uh, implies then that x is equal to 0 which we already know because uh, I said at the beginning that uh, the curves intersect at the origin or x is equal to 4. Okay, So therefore the x coordinate of a is x equals 4 and I will label that on the graph now the shaded area is going to be equal to the integral from x equals 0 to x equals 4 of f of x minus g of x with respect to x and f of x minus g of x is equal to 5x minus 2 uh, x squared minus x squared minus 3x and expanding and simplifying I'll get 5x minus x squared minus x squared plus 3x which will leave me with 8x minus 2x squared. So the area that I'm looking for is the integral from 0 to 4 of 8x minus 2x squared dx and this is equal to so the uh, antiderivative of this is 4x squared minus 2 thirds x cubed bounded by the upper limit of 4 and the lower limit of 0 and uh, let me continue this over here so it looks a bit uh, messy but um, I apologize for that so subbing in these values I will get 4 times 4 squared minus 2 thirds of 4 cubed minus 4 times 0 squared minus 2 thirds 0 cubed and uh, obviously this side goes to 0 and uh, we're left with 4 times 16 minus 2 thirds times 4 cubed is 64 okay, so 4 times 16 is 64 and uh, we're left with 2 thirds of 64 so in uh, reality we have 1 third of 64 which is equal to 20 one and one third. So the shaded area is equal to 21 and one third unit units squared. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If uh, it has been helpful, please give me a like and I'll see you in the next video. If you are currently studying math, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos that may help you on exams or assignments. And as always, please feel free to ask me any question by commenting on any of the videos that you've seen. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something.